Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. The man has arrived. The following contest is a championship first round match. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. Known for his daredevil, high-flying style. Ricochet actually says that he, he loves to clear his mind and shove out the negativity so he can be fully present in the moment when that bell rings. Well, Ricochet's busy clearing out his mind so he can blow yours. Ricochet can do anything and everything you had ever imagined between the ropes. Looking forward to this matchup. Singles competition for this young man who I believe is one of the most talented in the business. And from Perth, Western Australia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shane Horn. I like Shane Thorne, he's an exciting young superstar. Some of his favorite pastimes include cliff diving, swimming with sharks, and petty larceny. Will you stop? He's a great talent, Corey. I agree, I like him. Great opportunity to create a solo path for himself. The raid has begun! The modern-day Vikings, Rowan Hansen, the War Raiders are here to pillage the competition. <laughs> Descendants of Odin himself, a true destructive force in the tag team division. And at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Hansen and Rowe. Rowan Hansen are two big, bad, scary dudes who have run roughshod over the tag team division. Yeah, two absolute wrecking balls who are thirsty for demolition. A terrifying blend of size, speed, power, and agility. There's basically nothing the War Raiders can't do in the ring. When you see these two behemoths walking towards you, a lot of people would argue the match is already over before the bell rings. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Man. Tag team action in full effect, guys, and these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. You gotta believe this one's over.
Nailed it. Boom! <laughs> Beautiful technique. Looking for the win. And the rope forces the break. You know, I really thought he was smarter than to apply a submission so close to the ropes. But I guess not. Russian leg sweep. Ricochet has certainly made an impression on the scene of sports entertainment. Ricochet's unique gifts are no accident. Since his teens, he's possessed the desire to fly as if gravity didn't exist. This might be it! Oh, my! What a stop! Good grief! You expressed Ricochet's desires, Michael. This is a man who started wrestling in a backyard boxing ring when he was only 14 years old. Then at 16, he could finally afford his very own wrestling ring. And that became the beginning of... His shoulders are down. You're not gonna win many matches that easily. It's gonna take more than that. No, he reverses it. Targeting the back on that one. Oh, he's such a tough target. What a stop. Good grief. Ooh, what impact. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Comes in off the tag. Harsh impact. Oh. <laughs> tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Look at this. Oh boy, he is rolling. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. And there's his speed paying off. Shortly after Hanson and Rowe brutally assaulted heavy machinery in their NXT debut, Otis Dosevich and Tucker Knight actually requested a match against... Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. I'm not sure how much he has left. And into the cover. He gets the shoulder up before three. Not yet. To elaborate a bit more on that match between the War Raiders and Heavy Machinery that Michael mentioned, I don't think I've ever seen Otis Dosevic manhandled in the way that he was during that match. Yeah, not just that, Saxton, but in a this could end it in a hurry. Boom! Oh, Samoan driver. Game, set, Hanson into the cover. He's on his heels. 
If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. This is where we find out who the better man is. And at this point, it could very well be either one of these guys. That's how close this thing is. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think that's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. Byron earlier, the shoulders are down. He's making a statement here with this attack. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. How'd he do that? Oh boy, he is rolling. What a comeback. What a slam, Michael. Lightning fast reflexes. Gets the tag. like that says a lot about a duo and here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match almost forgot about this one check him out here yeah he's putting in the work And here's a last look at this one. Here are your winners, Hanson and Rowe. That was a big pinfall victory right there. Now that's the kind of win you can build some momentum off of. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. 